hey everyone welcome back to this channel if you are new then welcome to this channel well today we're gonna go through some more interesting basics of tkinter it's all about geometric managers in the previous session we learned about label how to create a label and how to give that label name like how to show the label how to configure we went through all those label stuff right today we're gonna go through some geometry stuff if you are new to this tkinter basics then the playlist of the tkinter will be in the description you can go and check it out and you can start learning from the beginning okay so yeah today we're gonna go through one more interesting thing which is all about geometric managers let me tell you what is this geometry managers means like geometry managers is actually what are we going to do in this is we gonna place our widgets we gonna align organize our widgets in the right place that we want to place like for example here it is an interface right for example we want a label that must be in the middle so by using these geometry managers we can place the label in the middle we can place not only label, we can place whatever the widget, the button, the text, whatever we have, we can place at whatever the place that we want. So here, in order to manage, organize or align our widgets, we can do that in three simple ways. The first way is place by using place manager. We can place our widget by using pack manager. We can place our widget by using grid manager. We can place our widget. So what do we do in place manager? What do we do in pack? What do we do in grid? You might also will be having some kind of doubts like why can't we use just place for everything? Why can't we just use pack for everything? Why can't we just use grid? Like you will understand the importance of these three things while you're developing, while you're building the stuff that you want to build at the, like while you're doing any projects, right? Don't worry, we're going to touch projects once we complete the basics of the Tkinter. So here, like these three things are completely different. We can place our widgets by using these three things, but the circumstances or the way we use them might be different. Don't worry. Don't worry about these three things right now. For now, just focus on how we use these three things. You will understand when to use place, when to use pack and when to use grid. Okay, don't worry how to use them. Just learn the basic stuff. The first thing is place, right? Place manager here, we're going to use coordinates to place the widget that we want to place like for example here the widget is labeled right so what are we going to do is we're going to create a label and we have to place that label right so here for placing here we gave two arguments two parameters values x value is 10 and y value is 10 what happens what are these x and y exactly these x and y are actually the coordinates of the plane that we have for example if you observe a 2d plane it will be having two axes right one is x axis and the other is y axis so if you give x value 10 what happens is the label will place 10 units away from the interface okay and if you give y value 10 then it will be 10 units that is pixels away from the top of the interface okay if you give x value 20 it will go 20 y value 10 it will go down okay let me show you an example of how we use place by coding okay like for example in the previous session we actually created two labels right if you remember if you go through my previous video we actually created two labels label one and label two right now here we used place, right? I have already told you like how to use X and Y while placing the label itself. Here, if you want to place, for example, let me remove all these background colors and colors. It, it's a bit messy. Let me clear all of them. Okay, now we just have a basic label here, right? And for example, if x value is 100, it's going to go 100 pixels away from the interface border, okay? For example, if you give y 100, gonna go down 100 meters 100 pixels i'm sorry 100 pixels down right so we can use x and y 
as the coordinates it will place your widgets horizontally and it places your widgets vertically so in this way place exactly works i hope you understood you can not only just place labels you can place buttons you can place the yeah there are many more things you can place all the widgets that we have in the future yeah we can use place it's the easiest way to put your widget in the right place in the interface when it comes to place for example here we have three widgets three labels and we're gonna place them in the same line in the same order so for that what are we going to do is we're gonna do label one dot place x value and y value 10 and x value y value 10 what happens if we give something like this one okay let's see let's see what happens if we give something like we have seen in the example for example label one is 10 x is 10 and y is also 10 and label 2 is x is 10 and y is 20 what happens if you give something like this one like let me change these parameters okay height true for now okay okay the first name is below the last name i think because x is 10 and y is 20 what if y is 50 yeah you can place widgets something like this one or if you want like diagonal then you can go for 40 maybe yeah if you want you can go some diagonal something like this it depends upon the design that you have so based on that we're going to use place and yeah this is all about place if you want to place you can use x and y coordinates as the parameters you're going to give values to them and you're going to place those widgets by using this 2d plane okay just remember if you are using place you have to give x and y values inside the place method so that you can say to the interpreter or the interface to put your things in the right place like for example if you want to place your widgets in the form of a block then yeah for that you can use pack okay like what are we going to do is we're just gonna say pack you don't have to give any parameters inside you just have to say pack okay instead of place if i give pack here what happens let's see what happens if if i give pack here remove these parameters yeah see these are like a block if you want a widget if you want to place those widgets like a block then yeah you can use pack and you don't have to give any parameters inside the pack all right and you can also place these uh, labels like on top somewhere on left on right on bottom then at the time you can just give side equal to for example this must be on top right so I'll give top and here side equal to some bottom yeah and if you rerun this one yeah it's something like this one you can even give left right if you want for back you, you can just use these parameters like if you want to align the widgets to the borders or to some sides then yeah you can use pack at the time right and the final and interesting thing is it's all about a grid yeah when it comes to grid imagine that you have a matrix in those matrix cells we're gonna place the widgets that we have for example here if you observe it's like a table like structure like you know matrix 0 0 1 1 one two zero 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 one zero two it's something like this a matrix like just imagine a matrix and here if you see these are actually rows and these are actually columns right so if you want to place your widget here so what are you going to do is you're going to create that label and you're going to call grid method from that label and you're going to give the value of 
row as zero and column as zero so your label will get placed here if you want to place your label here then your row value will be one and column value will be one if you want to place your label here row value two column value two if you want to place here lab, row value zero and column value one so in this way this grid exactly works this is quite interesting because you just have to give row and column names if you want to place a particular widget in this grid in this matrix you cannot see this grid exactly in the tkinter interface you can just see here like it exactly works this way it's like a matrix let me show you how it exactly works for example instead of pack if i give grid here and row value zero and column value is also zero then what happens let us see it's not working because this is still on oh i got an error cannot use geometry manager pack inside which already have sleeves managed by grid okay you cannot use grid and you cannot use pack at the same time. Okay, I got you. Now, let's see. Hmm. I think this works this time. And what happens if you give... Row value 0 and column value 1. Yeah, you can see they are side by side. But what if we want something like this last name must be here. What happens? You can give row value 0. No, row value will be 1 and column value will be 1. Let us see. Yeah, you can place something like it's a matrix. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay? Like if you want... For example, label 3, and here this will be 2, and yeah, this will be 2. So yeah, in this way we can use grid. Yeah, this is pretty interesting, right? Imagine just a matrix in front of you and that has some rows and columns and yeah, just place your widgets over there and yeah, just give those values here, values of those rows and columns here and yeah, done. You can place your widget. That's pretty simple and pretty straightforward, right? So yeah, this is all about these three interesting geometric managers. We have place, we have pack, we have grid. Place, we can use this when you are... When you want to place a widget using the coordinates of the 2D plane like X and Y axis, then yeah, at the time you can give X value something and Y value something and yeah, you can use place at the time. If you want to keep those widgets like in the form of a block, then you can just give block. You don't have to give any parameter inside, just give label one dot block and yeah, it will manage a block like structure for your widgets in the interface. When it comes to grid, just imagine a matrix. I think I said this. 20 times, right? <laughs> you just imagine a matrix that you have and yeah, just place your label or whatever the widget that you have by giving those row as rows and column values. And yeah, that's it. So in this way, place, pack and grid exactly works in the tkinter. And yeah, it depends upon the uh, situation that you have, like while you're developing, if you want to use place, then that's quite simple to use you can just use place with x and y if you want to place them like a block then you can use pack if you want to place them like a matrix if you want to align them like a, a diagonal or something then yeah at the time you can use grid it depends upon the type of things that you are designing it, de it depends upon the type of interface that you're building right so yeah in this way these three things exactly works in the next video i'm gonna get back to you with one more interesting tkinter basic if you like this video then hit that cute little like button so that it can help some more people to learn something new about tkinter from this one and yeah if you're new then don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you cannot miss a further update of this tkinter